In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the first letter of St. John, chapter 2, verses 18 to 25. Little children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come, by which we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us, for if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that none of them were of us. But you, having an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things, I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar? But he who denies that Jesus is the Christ, he is the Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Therefore, let that abide in you, which you heard from the beginning. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, you also will abide in the Son and the Father. And this is the promise that he has promised us, eternal life. In this letter from St. John, there's a little subheading to this reading. The truth, Jesus is God. As soon as I read those words, the truth, I must admit, it makes me think of a, a particular line in a Hollywood movie. There was a courtroom scene. And the lawyer was asking the person on the stand, what is truth? And the reply was, you cannot handle the truth. Yeah. The truth. And as Jesus said, when we have the truth, we are free. The truth will set you free, we are told. We have the Holy Spirit, but you have an anointing from the Holy One. You know all things, St. John says here in the reading. I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it and have no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar? But he who denies that Jesus is the Christ. We do not deny this. Because if we do, we are liars. We are the Antichrist. It is so important for us To be aware of the Antichrist. He or she is out there denying that Jesus is God. I have read and seen some distressing things lately. And it makes me think, 
Who is this person? Who is this sick person who does not know the truth? This particular person, or we could call Antichrist, puts down those who speak the truth, make a laughing stock of them, a joke. But in turn, they become the joke. They then become the laughing stock. We try to ignore it. But all we could really do is pray for that poor soul, that they will see the truth. They will see the truth that Jesus is God. In our Lenten fast, we do battle against temptation and the spirit of evil. O Christ, O God, tempted in the wilderness, yet unyielding, support us so that, armed with the weapon of self-denial, we may conquer all evil. That's why it's important for us during this Lenten fast. Self-denial. It gives us a weapon to fight against the Antichrist. Though we can always seek out the truth. Jesus is God. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.